Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Welcome back to the living room, your boy Looney here You see this shirt? You see this shirt? God damn it! Can you see it? Just go! Black Panther We here Black Panther We here We finally made the Black Panther I'm excited, I'm exuberating Exuberance Exuberantly? Whatever. I'm happy to get into this. One of my top five favorite comic book characters of all time. We got our introduction to him in Captain America Civil War, which he was glorious, simply glorious. He was like an unstoppable force. They couldn't stop him. Even when he didn't have the suit on, he was still chasing Bamas down. And I loved it. <laughs> but I'm highly looking forward to this one made over a billion dollars I know that so people liked it enough that they saw it over and over and over me this is my first time you may say well if he's one of your top five how come he didn't get the day one you were there because honestly I didn't think they were going to do him justice he is he's such a special character like he's like to me he is Marvel's Batman and I know there's Moon Knight, who probably is more considered, you know, Marvel's Batman. But Chala is so dope. He's one of the top three smartest people in Marvel. Well, it fluctuates. We'll say top five. He's one of the top five smartest people in Marvel, period. He's one of the top five best hand-to-hand -hand combat fighters, period. You know, he's a king. He's a ruler of a whole country. Like, come on, Wakanda? They have vibranium. I'm curious to see how far they go with vibranium in here. A lot of people don't know. that Most people think there's only one kind of vibranium. There's multiple kinds. I'm hoping we really take a deep dive into Black Panther. Let's find out some stuff. Let's let's show people who he really is. That's what I hope we get. No further ado. Let's get into some Black Panther. Let's get into this. Baba? Yes, my son? Tell me a story. Damn, it started immediately, y'all okay? The story of home. Just tell me the story. I want to know everything. Years ago, a meteorite made of vibranium, the strongest substance in the universe, struck the continent of Africa. Well, there's adamantium. My understanding is not here yet, but yeah, there's adamantium. Five tribes settled on it and called it Wakanda. Okay. Warrior Shaman received a vision from the panther goddess Bast. Oh, Bast is in here. All right, dope. What shaped herb? A heart shaped herb. Yes. Bitch! That's all you need to know that I know who that artist is. That's all you gotta say to know who that artist is. Okay, we're coming. Hide the straps. Oh, shit. Open it. Huh? You serious? They won't knock again. Are they the door Malaje? Ngabani. Prince Njobu. Ooh. Son of Azuri. Oh shit! <laughs> this would be T'Chaka. Oh, I'm so dopely sucked in right now. There has been an attack. What? This man, Ulysses Claw. Claw. Stole a quarter ton of vibranium from us. So Claw was a pain in the ass in 92? And he's still walking around in, at the time of Civil War? Look me in the eyes and tell me why you betrayed Wakanda. Oh. I did no such thing. Zuri, son of Badu. Oh shit! Oh, you had a spy on your ass the entire time. Did you think that you were the only spy we sent here? Oh shit. You sucker ass bitch. Prince Njobu. You will return home at once, where you will face the council and inform them of your crimes. What the hell are you looking at? I wanna see it! Oh shit, that's a UFO looking thing. I would mess some kids up. I saw a UFO! Dun, 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 dun. Black Panther was coming to claw your shit. Oh shit.
I assume that was because he passed. I do know that he passed away. That's dope as hell. Of Wakanda is mourning the death of its monarch, King T'Chaka. The beloved ruler was one of many confirmed dead after a terrorist attack at the United Nations a week ago. Okay, so this so this is this is a week after civil war. Oh, we are in Nigeria. What the? F no need, Okoye. I can handle this alone. Hmm. Ah! Yeah, I love you black women, man. Just don't freeze when you see her. What are you talking about? I never freeze. I heard Nakia. Oh, that's dope. He has shit that he can, he has marbles he can throw at your whip to shut it off. Like I said, Batman's attack, man. Are we under attack? Man, the attack has over been started and ended. Ooh, terrified the shit out you. What do you see? He saw the scariest shit, and it was the last thing he probably ever saw. I swear that's Lapita and Yango. If that is, my wife will tell you. I've had a big ass crush on her. For Coming. Years. Coming. Oh! Over there! Give me your shit, motherfucker. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh! Hi. <laughs> no. Shoot her right <laughs> Talking about, let's go! He froze. Yeah, he did. Uh, he did. You speak nothing of this day. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Stern and sexy. Can you imagine living in Africa and seeing some shit like that and then our people walk out? Shit. We are home. Let me see it in full. You showed me a bullshit ass clip of it. All I got to see was fog and mist and a and a goddamn uh a panther statue. I want to see it in its glory. This never gets old. Yes. Fucking right. That's what should, that's what Wakanda should be. A mix of technology and natural just environment. Is that Angela Bassett? I ain't seen her since what's love got to do with it. They hitting on these drums right now too. Whoa, what's up? Did he freeze? Oh, like an antelope in head. Oh shit! <laughs> See, no, this is just the beginning of it, dog. You in a household of nothing but women. It's a wrap for you. He is with us. He is. And it is your time to be king. Is the ancestral plane in here? Because if it is, he can talk to his daddy. Hmm. Yum, yum, yum. How can I help you? I'm just checking out these artifacts. They tell me you're the expert. Oh shit, that Michael B. Jordan. Creed, right? The Creed movies. One day I gotta watch the Rocky movies because I've seen the Creed movies and don't know who fuck Rocky is. <laughs> is that wrong? Is that backwards? Tell me about this one. Also from Benin, seventh century. She got gas? She's holding her stomach. It was taken by British soldiers in Benin, but it's from Wakanda and it's made out of vibranium. Who the hell is this? No. How do you think your ancestors got these? Preach, brother! Come on now! Did they take it like they took everything else? Ooh. But you ain't checking for what you put in your body. He has a point. Is this Killmonger? I see I see the braids. She's involved, you can tell. Look how she's looking. I'm gonna take a break. Yeah, that break is to never return, thieving heifer. You can go, but just don't tell anyone, alright? Ooh, that's foul. Okay, so he has his sonic hand. Good. You're not telling me that's vibranium too, huh? No, I'm just feeling it. That looks like a mask that Killmonger used to wear. Is that Killmonger? Yo, their tech is dope as shit. 
Is he buck ass nigga? Oh, okay. He's so from my understanding, this brother already had cancer while doing this movie. Strong man. From what I from what I've read, he didn't tell nobody. No one knew about it. Look at the colors. Oh my god, the colors are so beautiful. I Zuri. Black Son ass false Whitaker. <laughs> Give Shoulder bounce? Who's shoulder bounce at this bitch? Oh shit, that looks painful. The river tribe will not challenge today. How do you eat with your lip? Do we all just wrap it up and go home? <laughs> <laughs> Little sisters, boy. What? My homeboy used to chant this. Is this where it's from? It's Manape! Is he called Manape in here? Is that Manape? That's the Manape. Ibaku! What are you? It's the Manape. As your technological advancements have been overseen by a child. Ooh. Okay. Scoffs a tradition could not keep his own father oh shit safe i'm liking mbaku right now i didn't think we would actually get man ape in here that's a big ass dude they got to be man ape i'm 99 percent certain they're never going to call him man ape <laughs> Woo! Okay, man ape got the strength t'challa is more agile quick with speed that's the same thing, three times. Agile, quick, and speed. <laughs> God damn, I don't know what the hell he's swinging, but that shit swings like a goddamn sledgehammer. Where is your god now? Bow, there it is. Come on, boy. Ah, that's a problem. Damn. powers? Just a boy. Not fit to leave. Show him who you are. Hell yeah, cause he's headbutting the fuck out you. Broke your fucking mask, Hosk. Ooh. I am Prince T'Challa. Yeah. Son of King T'Chaka. Yeah. You can do this, T'Challa. Ooh, we caught him with the back of the knee. Yo, T'Challa, you in a bad spot there, Hosk. Fought with honor. Now you, your people need you. Cat, dog, thank you. Shit. Uh, now don't fall off the fucking cliff. Fucking right. The Black Panther. Every time he says Panther, he's spitting. I guarantee. Panther. Zuri. My king. That's Zuri. So that's the dude at the beginning of '92 who was the spy who I think turned in the child's uncle. I've seen that. I've, uh, I've seen all that. Yeah, I've seen that multiple times. So, so I, I know the reference. I assume now he's going to get the heart-shaped herb put back in him. The fact that the heart-shaped herb is in the MCU is insane to me. So dope. It's the little things that you didn't like really pay attention to in the comics. That when you see a movie of it in the future or when you grow up, and it like triggers a little bit of a memory. The powers of the Black Panther and take you to the ancestral plane. So is he slightly dying to become the Black Panther? Yes, they are legitimately burying this man. Can we at least allow him to close his mouth before we throw a whole bunch of dirt on him? Yeah, his mouth is still open. The ancestral plane. Are we gonna see Bast? Cause sometimes T'Challa and Bast have not gotten along and Bast has like stripped the power away from T'Challa. The ancestral plane is beautiful. Look at those colors in the sky, man. You're a good man with a good heart. And it's hard for a good man to be king. Indeed it is. Eve. <gasps> well, he has dust in his throat. He has sand in his mouth and shit. Yeah, you know you want to splatter that ass. I see Nakia is back. Hmm? You guys going to work it out? Uh... He 
really has a giant fucking rhino as a pet? Dope. My king. My love. Oh. You will never guess who just popped up on our radar. Claw. It's always Claw. Is that like sacred clay that they're sitting on? We have learned Ulysses Claw Some plans bitch. to sell the vibranium to an American... Look at that motherfucker's lip, though. How do you eat when your lip, your bottom lip is the size of a pancake? My parents were killed when he attacked. Not a day goes by when I do not think about what Claw took from us. I will bring him back. I am really loving this movie so far. I'm loving the vibe. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving just how it looks. I'm loving the 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 royalty and the regality that T'Challa is having right now. You get to see him be more of a king. He's been more of a king in this, I guess, like 30 minutes than Thor's been in three movies. You sure it's a good idea to take your ex on a mission? Oh, they're exes. Yeah. Now, I know Nakia is in the comics. I think she becomes a villain. When it comes to love with Black Panther, I don't acknowledge any love in his life except for Storm. Storm from the X-Men. They got married. One of the best power couples comics I've ever had. Unfortunately, they weren't able to keep the match going. In some aspects, they had a son. Question is what are those? <laughs> oh no. That that's a little bit of a date there. No, I'll tell it to go on. Oh shit. Ooh. You're recording. For research purposes. No, a little sister's recording. It's a setup. Don't do it, brother. God. Delete that footage. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Fucking little sisters. This way. God damn. Okay. Both of these sisters is wearing these outfits like they know what they're doing. I don't know who this actress is that plays Okoye. She's dope, though. Well, that is quite... The Entourage. You got a mixtape coming out? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, there is one. Yeah, I'll send you the SoundCloud link if you like. <laughs> what? This dude is insane. I like how this dude's playing Claw. He's very abrasive in this one. What? <laughs> Damn. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Oh my god! Damn! Go ahead! Oh, let's go! Oh my god! Oh my lord! The door Melage are legit! Yes! You know, you look just like your old man. Oh my god. What? That action sequence was insanely great. What? Just straight hand to hand martial art combat? That is some. Ooh. 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 Yes! And he posed! Keep going! Oh! oh. oh. Terrible. <laughs> she just committed vehicular manslaughter because she didn't do it on purpose. She wasn't even really there. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, what? Yo! So he's charged up on energy. What the hell is he about to do? Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Dope. Holy shit. Oh my god. Please tell me she This Oko uh -huh. This Okoye chick? Is that her name? God status. Who the fuck? Yo. 
Who is she? She is incredible. Yeah. Oof. What? This may be one of the dopest action sequences I have ever fucking seen in my life. From the fight in the casino to this car chase, what? Where did you get this weapon? You savages didn't deserve it. Oh, mercy, King, mercy. Every breath you take is massive from me. Oh. After your questioning, we were taken back to Wakanda with us. He said it with a smile on his face, too. I'm doing you guys a favor by letting you even be in here. Oh. Ukuba upindi wa kukukumisa. Takukuma apa. Kwezi shishlalo. Very nice. American. Explore a search for it for centuries. El Dorado, hey, the Golden oh. City. They thought they could find it in South America. Oh, so they're trying to make Wakanda El Dorado, huh? I'm really feeling like he's Killmonger. He's kind of like the all like the anti Black Panther right now. Yeah, that's the. If I'm not in, if I if I swear that that mask is linked to Killmonger. What? Ooh! I like this suit so much better. It makes him look way more leaner. That ring looks similar to the ring he had in uh, Civil War. He just jumped in front of me. Oh, oh! Seems fun now. What the fuck? I want to know what that beat is. Can I have one? Shit, I could have used that when I broke my ankle. Shit. What? Great, another broken white boy for us to fix. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Another broken white boy? Oh, that's right. Uh, Bucky. He slipped through our hands. For 30 years, your father was in power and did nothing. With you, I thought it would be different. It's more of the same. You need to watch this dude. <laughs> He's so angry, he may do some dumb shit. And and I've never known a black dude to give me a look like that and not have some sideways shit pop off eventually afterwards. So, sorry, Eric. It's gonna be okay. It is Killmonger. <laughs> I thought that was his girl. Claw versus Killmonger, and Claw don't have his arm. Ooh, and he is a dead aim too. I ain't worried about no brain. Check these out. Uh, oh, shit. To, to them, you're just being an outsider. You're crazy to think that you could walk in there. <laughs> oh, okay. Claws gone. Didn't expect that. This movie is incredible. There was a man today. Wearing a ring identical to this one. I thought so. Yeah, you were there, Zuri. I knew that ring was gonna come. They kept flashing it. I promised the king to say nothing. I am your king now! Ooh, tell him, dog. He knew your father would not support this. So, your uncle oh. betrayed us. He drew his weapon on me. <laughs> Ooh, damn, he had to kill his own brother? Your father killed his own brother. My voice popped, because that shit caught me off of my brother. I'm a child. We left him. Damn. And I'm assuming that's Killmonger. He has a bona fide beef. What is this? Just a little gift. He's automatically gonna vibe with this dude. He wants that, he wanted Claude dead so bad. Okay, so he remembers getting shot. Boy, Bilbo! Can't keep your Bilbo down. You can never keep Bilbo down, goddammit. 
Don't scare me like that, colonizer. <laughs> oh, shit. She called him colonizer, though. I'm terrified what's going to happen. Killmonger just showed up. That's generally not a good thing. They have fought where basically Killmonger killed T'Challa or at minimum beat the living hell out of him. He's not a Wakandan. He's one of ours. I told you, I don't, I don't feel good about what's, I, I feel, I feel bad energy coming. <laughs> I like how they found a way to get Everett Ross in here in the comics. Everett Ross is like a government liaison for Wakanda to the U.S. So it's kind of dope he's in here. Damn. My uncle Njoba betrayed us, but my father... He may have created something even to us. Hey. Yeah. If, if, well, going with what y'all telling me, if he can make created Killmonger off this, he created your worst enemy. Legit. Oh, this is about to be a great scene, but I swear I think I'm about to be completely just, uh, uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> I want the throne. <laughs> mm. Hey, hey, you, the tuna. He has blood ties. Ungubani, Indinko, and Jadaka. Unyanaka, and Jobu. Oh. Oh. I found my daddy with panther claws in his chest. You ain't the son of a king, you are a son of a murderer. We have a this is why we can't ever have a family reunion that just this is peaceful. Shit like this. Shit like this. That and someone put goddamn tomatoes in the goddamn potato salad. You know of this. He knows of all of it. I accept your challenge. Oh no. We're, we're gonna do it, aren't we? We're gonna do what happened in the comics. The child is losing this fight. Uh. Don't put your head down, dog. You ain't do nothing wrong to him. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. I trained, I lied, I killed. Just to get here. Man, he etched his whole shit up. I, I, I fucked with my man T'Challa, but he's fighting his... His antithesis here, man. Yo, he's coming with some heavy blows. Ooh. Ooh. God damn. Son of a bitch. I hate. I hate. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because I knew it was coming. I am the cause of your father's death. Not him. Take me. Take you both, Uncle James. No! Is this your kid? Mm. He's going to throw him off the cliff like in the goddamn comics. Oh my god. I'm your king. We have to go. That should all kill this dude. Oh shit. Well, damn. That was dope as fuck and horrible to see at the same time. <laughs> but yeah. He killed T'Challa in ritual combat. Does that really matter? I am loyal to that throne, no matter who sits upon it. That's that stupidity, but what okay. What are you loyal to? I'm the well-being of the country. How about that? I save my country. Indeed! Koye, you're about to become a tyrant if you're following the will of a tyrant. Trump. The king is dead. Come with me, yeah. unless you want to join him. You choose the wrong time to show up, homie. <laughs> I know one thing. Uh, T'Challa's mother is throwing off strong storm vibes with that hairdo and everything. That's how storm, oh, that's how I want storm to look. She, people forget, she's an African goddess. Who's he gonna see in the ancestral plane besides his treacherous ass daddy? You don't even get to walk in the ancestral plane, really. You get to walk in an apartment in the ancestral plane. You're not really allowed. Boss does not approve of you, Hoss. What did you find? The home. The sunsets there are the most beautiful in the world. Mm. No tears for me? Everybody dies. 
it's just life around here. Damn. This little kid is doing a great job acting like this. he's actually Look at what I've done. Michael B. Jordan. I should have taken you back long ago. Instead, we are both abandoned here. Or maybe your home is the ones that's lost. Mmm. Who was that dude? His acting with the tears? Oh my God, I felt everything he said. Go ahead and burn all that. What? My king, we cannot do that. It is our tradition. <laughs> yeah, this is stupid. I tell you to do something. I mean that shit. See, but that's a stupidity. Like, that's why he's not fit to be Burn king. it all. Fucking idiot. Only a, only a dumbass doesn't have something set up for when their time passes. Like, that's the problem with Killmonger. He only cares about the now. He doesn't care about the future. But the whole time he's preaching about the future. We got to help our people. But look at the setback you just did, you dumb shit. Good villain, though. Yeah, everything's upside down. This shot is dope. They'll arm oppressed people all over the world so they can finally rise up and kill those in power and their children and anyone else who takes this. He talking about kids, too. We're warriors. Of course, he's now for this. He was he was already on this this type of vibe. You could feel it. It will be the conquerors or the conquered. Ooh, you son of a bitch. I'd rather be the former. I bet. <laughs> that was your love, too. Your love just switched on you. You should take it yourself. I am a spy with no army. Oh, no, she was wrecking up in that casino. I think she'd be perfect for it. She's a spy. She knows the world. She's adept. I think she'd be dope. Look at that fucking visual. My God. Your Highness, the new king is a US. <gasps> huh? The new king. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means shut up, white boy. <laughs> oh, shit. You cannot talk. One more word, and I will feed you to my children. What? I'm kidding, we are vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I, I I wouldn't vibe Man Ape is Black Panther. He's too bulky. Black Panther's supposed to be lean, quick, agile. He he's neither of that. He's heavy. He's he's cumbersome. Impossible. What? Oh. Kill him. <laughs> like turn your ass around. You may not see any of this. I'm, I'm vibing M'Baku. He, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start calling him M'Baku because he's clearly not gonna be Manape, which is probably a good thing because Manape was rather racist. But I like how they're portraying him in here. He's honorable, Kamaku. Kamaku. Indeed, Kamaku. we will Kamaku together. Kamaku. Oh. Wake up to That's interesting because in the comics, Shuri's not really into the religious part. The time has come for you to come home and be reunited oh. with me. I wish I could see Bast. You oh, are wrong. Mm. All of you are wrong. We let the fear of our discovery stop us from doing what is right. Mm. I cannot rest. But he sits on the throne. He's a monster of our own making. Mmm. I must right these wrongs. Go ahead, dog! Rise up! Rise up! You have a blanket. <laughs> yeah, he has been lying in snow. You want to send our weapons all over the world. This cannot go down. We must stop him. Let's go! Give him back his suit. Let the panther claw again, yo. Are you done? <laughs> uh, are you are you are you done? <laughs> oh my god. Are you done? I mean, are you done? <laughs> I love how he talks. We will not help you. I guess he's done what he can. <laughs> or what he chooses to do. Still vibe with him though, he's funny. But the war dogs in London, New York, and Hong Kong are standing by. 
London, New York, and Hong Kong. Isn't that where the uh, the, the Doctor Strange temples are? The world's gonna find out exactly who we are. Maybe not, Sa. You sack shit. Let it begin. And he walks through the fire. God damn it. He leaves. Treacherous bitch. Not Okoye, dude. I never yielded. And as you can see, I am not dead. Carry out the mission. Are all of y'all treacherous? You see, dude, is not dead. How much of a traitor are you, dog? Bambi! Don't respect this dude at all, man. He's letting the pain of the fact that his that his father didn't avenge his father and mother. You are not fit to be a king. There you go. What? Is that the black leopard suit? Oh, y'all get rot. Oh, y'all get rot. What? Yeah. Is he calling that big ass rhino? Oh my god, and it's vibranium plated. Wakanda forever. I want him dead so bad. That's partly your fault. You should have never stood for his bullshit. Alright, I'm on it. Alright, Ross, let's get it! They are doing yo, the Dora Milaje are so fucking dope, yo. So in the comics, the Dora Milaje can take out Black Panther if they were to choose to do so. That they are that equipped. <laughs> Ooh. God damn. Yo, yo, she is a beast. Nakia is a dope ass character. <laughs> Treacherous swan. Power up, dope. Let's go. Let's go. One on one. There's some fucking Dragon Ball Z shit going on right now. Turn on the train on the bottom track. The stabilizer won't yet to fix your suit. You won't have protection. Neither will he. That's a smart plan. I love... See, once again, they're showing this intelligence of T'Challa. He's so fucking smart. Oh, shit. Get out of there now. Put me back in. All right. He's showing he's willing to sacrifice himself to help the right cause. That's... Gaining more respect for goddamn Ross right now. Oh, y'all are fucked. He yoked you up. Uh, the might of the Jabari. First time. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed with how much CGI is going on in this end fight. I would have preferred it one on one, them getting at it. All this CGI shit is kind of distracting for me right now. I can act with your arms! Sonic Overload initiated. Now break it! <sighs> Dang, he just flowed through it. I said flow. I don't know what word I just said. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, haul ass. Oh, really a bitch. Damn, that's disgusting. You gotta take care of your love now, dog. Did you kill me, my love? For Wakanda? Without question. <clears throat> yeah, you see what you did? Do you actually see what you did? Woo! My pop said Wakanda was the most beautiful thing you ever seen. 
and you set it on fire. He promised he was going to show it to me one day. He's going to show him some peace. Yeah, that, that, that's one of those, as soon as that blade come out, he's done. Maybe we can still heal you. That's dangerous, but I understand. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because mm. they knew death was better than bondage. Mm. I can respect that death. Them, them, them final words he said, I felt that shit. Had to kill his own cousin. After his father had to kill his own brother. He walks with a certain elegance, realness, man. Look at the fashion, the colors. Damn, I'm gonna live in Wakanda. Shit. Mm, yeah. That's what we call strawberry watermelon. Squeaky, squeaky. Squadoosh. Indeed. Oh, this is still that, this is that basketball court that, um... You said you would take me to California for the first time. I thought you meant Coachella. Huh? Who? Who are you? Why am I getting chills right now? Yeah. I got chills at the end of that. Yeah. You at the United Nations now? So what them Dora Malazia be rocking them outfits, boy. More connects us than separates us. But in times of crisis, the wise build bridges. Mm. While the foolish build barriers. What? We were one single tribe. We sold you respect, King T'Challa. What can a nation of farmers have to offer the rest of the world? <laughs> farmers my ass. <laughs> yeah, just smile. Just smile. I got a hiccup. My emotions. Buck Buck? Is Buck? Yo, hey, Bucky? Oh, he still ain't got an arm, though. Yeah, Iron Man shot that shit off. Ooh, is he deprogrammed now? White. <gasps> They're making him white wolf? How are you feeling? Good. Much more for you to learn. Okay. All right, that was baby. That movie was dope as fuck, but they caught me off guard with the white wolf thing at the end. So um, I don't know how far they're gonna go. I get maybe, yeah. That's crazy for me. So real quick before I get into the review, White Wolf is like the adopted brother of T'Challa and Shuri. So um, he actually, <laughs> he's in charge of the, the secret police. Um, and he's brutal as hell. Like he does not play. That completely just caught me off guard. So I'm curious, is, he act, is Bucky going to actually get the White Wolf suit? Or are, are, are they only doing it as an homage to White Wolf from the comics? I'm curious to see where that goes. But outside of that, let's get into this review. That movie was dope as hell. That's up in my top five Marvel movies right now, which is crazy to me. I did not expect Black Panther to be that dope of a movie. Um, I got chills a couple of times. Let's break down some of these characters. Number one, we must start with the king, uh, T'Challa. Um, I love the portrayal. Chadwick Boseman was incredible as T'Challa. I don't know how much more he does in the MCU. So that's where I'm curious to see how far does it go with him? Because I do know that he did pass away. Uh, so I'm curious to see how much more he does, if at all. So that's one major thing I'm curious to show you. If I would have one criticism of the T'Challa portrayal, I wish they had shown more of his intelligence. This dude is one of the top three smartest, well, top five smartest in Marvel. Um, so I would have liked to see that a little bit more. We saw it in bits and spurts, but I would love to see like just one it's one little one scene where you understand intellectually he can have a conversation with Tony Stark uh, and Bruce Banner and out with them in multiple areas. I would love to see that a little bit. But outside of that, glorious betrayal. Um, Killmonger, my God. They made Killmonger, he was different than he is in the comics. 
but I liked his singular focus. I like how he was dedicated to what he was doing. He said some shit that I fully understood and fully agreed with. But he went about it in a way that was nothing but violence, and that's where me and him don't 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 coalesce. But outside of that, Michael B. Jordan did his job like that, boy. Um, I like how they made Killmonger like from Oakland, so that was dope. He had that too short vibe going on with him. That was really cool. Uh, they gave him the black leopard suit which was interesting i hate that suit uh, for me i don't like the black leopard suit because it reminds me of the time when marvel was trying to self-police itself and they changed black panther's name to black leopard because they were concerned that people would draw some form of connection between the comic book and the black panther revolutionary group which for me there is no connection no matter I, if, if i think if I remember correctly, I think the Black Panther comic predated the Black Panther um, um, group. So, but that was just Marvel being scared and they made that bad decision. But Black Panther to me is, if there's a trifecta of black superheroes, I think every black person should be aware of or know. For me personally, it will be Black Panther, Luke Cage and Blade. Those are my three. That's my trifecta for the top three black superheroes. Now, there are some who are um, quite dope as hell. Like there's Blue Marvel. I can't remember his real name, who is super intelligent, super smart. Um, but for me personally, Black Panther, Luke Cage and Blade. Because you have Black Panther, who's a king, a regal royal ruler. And then you got Luke Cage, bulletproof black man, you know, that, that kind of comes around. And then you got Blade who fights darkness in the shadows and no one ever knows. Those, so for me, those would be my three black three, my three top three black superheroes. So outside of that, Killmonger was dope. Um, the scene where he died and that line that he said, bury me in the oceans. That right there gave me chills. That gave me chills. I felt that so deep that I almost was like, damn, does he have to die? <laughs> but you know, death in Marvel, well, let's be honest, death in comics means nothing. Everyone comes back except for Uncle Ben. <laughs> but I wonder if I wonder if he ever comes back. Because yeah, they killed him. But they killed him in the comics too, and they eventually ended up bringing him back because he was such a dope villain. Um, I, I mean, if I think of Black Panther villains, for me, it comes down to Killmonger, Claw, and um, Namor, the Submariner. Those are the real three that I really, oh, and Manape, but, you know, or M'Baku, as they call him in here. But even, you know, those are the only four I can really think of. So I'm curious to see how, how we go with villains, seeing that we took out two, well, three of his four were in this movie. Okay. Um, I've not heard anything about, I knew I do know that there's a Black Panther 2. I do, I, I do know that. I do not know anything about it. I don't know who's in it. I don't even know if Chadwick Boseman was in it. I don't know if he, was a, I don't know if he shot that and then passed or he passed while they were shooting it or he passed before they shot it. I honestly do not know. So I'm curious to see where that goes. Um, it gets back to this, um, my, my favorite, ooh, one of my favorite characters was Nakia. I wish she had took the, the heart shade third. Off the simple fact, she's a worldwide spy. She was wrecking shop. Her or Okoye, I have no issues if they were to become Black man. I kind of hoped um, Nakia took the heart-shaped herb at that moment, just off of the fact of she was so dope. And if there wasn't going to be a T'Challa, she was next up in line for me. Next up in line. I didn't like Mbaku just because his size and stature, he wouldn't have the agile, the nimbleness, the things that I associate with Black Panther. He would most likely be like a black bear. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> so that that was the the reason for me when they kind of brought up taking it to Mbaku. Like, eh, I don't know like that. When when the Queen said, Naki, you take it, I was down for that. She's world traveled. She knows the world. One of the things that in the comics T'Challa did was T'Chaka sent him away as a young child so he could learn other aspects of the world. So he was worldly knowledgeable on top of being intellectually smart. He learned, he also got his street smarts. He was, he was a full, um, he was just fully encompassed in knowledge. He knew what he needed to do. He knew where he had to go. He understood all that kind of stuff. So I feel if you beat Black Panther, you need to have that worldly knowledge. And Nakia has that. So I would have been down if she had to took the heart shape herb. But she was incredible. Um, I'm curious to see. Now I know Marvel doesn't have, or at least when this came out, didn't own the doesn't have the rights to X Men. I would love to see them bring Storm in because Storm and Black Panther did get married and some stories they even have a child they have a son who is black panther but has the electrical abilities of storm which is oh his son is dope actually there's a there's an animated movie called uh, i think it's called young avengers and it deals with them uh so maybe looked at it looked at it i think it was, i think it was made by like Lionsgate back in the day it may be like 10 15 years old at this point but that's a really dope movie. It, it deals with the with Ultron killing all the Avengers and their children being hidden away. Uh, but that's all. That's besides the point. Uh, the Dora Milaje was incredible. They were fierce as all hell. They are a terrifying force in Marvel Comics. If they show up, you have a serious problem. So I like how they were shown. I like their staffs that clearly were made out of vibranium. Every time they stomp that damn staff. It did something. It literally opened up the the, the, the drain to release the water for their uh, for the ceremonial site. That was dope as hell. Everett Ross being in here completely caught me off guard. I even though he was in Civil War, I didn't think he would show up in here because in the comics, once again, he's a liaison. He's an in between between the U.S. government and uh, Wakanda. So it was nice to see that um, highlighted in here. Uh, M'Baku, come on now. They, 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 his name is M'Baku now. I'm gonna start calling him now. I'm not gonna call him Man Ape anymore. But he was great when he cut off Ross with a, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what are we talking about? That was hilarious. I loved every part of that. Um, I liked how he challenged for reasons that actually were reasons to him and his tribe for why his tribe went off. He actually had legitimate reasons. Um, and he was honorable. He lost in honor. He talked a lot of shit, but he lost in honor and he was honorable. He could have found T'Challa and just no one needs to know. But he did. He legitimately kept him on ice. So that that dude was great. I don't know what the hell he was chanting at the beginning, but I'm gonna learn that. Just now. I'm gonna learn that. Um I think I had a homeboy who would do it sometimes. What up, Magnif? Um, so that uh, I think I, I now know where he got that from. But to me, he was dope. I don't really have money negatives in here. Um, oh, Sherry, Sherry was okay. Uh, I didn't understand her fighting at the end. She's a tech geek. Uh, so when she had the blasters, it was okay. When at the end, when she's holding a staff, you don't even see her fight. She's just holding a staff and she's holding it over top of somebody. It's just like, how did we get there? I don't believe she was like trained at all. But once again, Shuri is a blind spot because when she became Black Panther in the comics, I wasn't interested. Um, for me, like, I'm very honest. I don't like derivative characters. To be perfectly honest, I really am not a big fan of derivative characters. So for me, Peter Parker is Spider-Man. I like Miles Morales, but he will never be top Spider-Man because Peter Parker is my Spider-Man. Bruce Wayne is my Batman. Kal-El is my Superman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'll, down that road. Um, Tony Stark is Iron Man. They are one to me. So when you have another person or another character show up and take that mantle, 
for me personally, I understand this isn't for everybody. For me personally, it's a, uh, I, I literally will lose interest. And that happens a lot in the comics where like, for instance, um, Bucky, when Captain America, when Steve Rogers stopped being, and by the way, don't ever get it twisted. Steve Rogers is Captain America. Captain America is Steve Rogers. In the comics, you've had a lot of Captain Americas. You had Bucky, who was a Captain America with the silver arm. It was a dope outfit. You had um, Falcon became Captain America, which was okay. Um, you know, I, there was someone else who became Captain America. I would have loved to see the. Uh, uh, I, I think it was. I think it was called Dark Rain. I can't remember what the name of the storyline was, where Captain America gets brainwashed and he becomes a Hydra agent, and he's behind the scenes jacking everything up i would love to see them do that but i don't know if they have the balls to do that and but that would be dope um so just so seeing shuri at the end of that fight was a little wall putting my big negative is that end fight scene uh it was a little too cgi for me with the suits and everything it looked kind of weird to me um, so I don't just know, I don't know if they just kind of went over their budget with everything else. So they were, didn't, ha or maybe just didn't have the time to finish everything out there. But I wasn't a big fan of the CGI at the end fight. It looked a little, a little wonky to me, especially when they would move their heads, didn't seem to fully track with whatever suit or whatever the shit they had on them. But outside of that, that's my really only negative. Everything else was great. I love the story. I love the action. I love the comedy. Like when they're, when they're all talking and Mbaka was like, are you done? Are you done? <laughs> that was incredible. But for me, uh, Black Panther is a 9.8 out of 10. That's right, 9.8 out of 10. Um, the next MC movie after this, baby. Let me get up in the mic and say it. Infinity Wall. <laughs> Baby. So, there will not be a MCU reaction next Monday. Because it's Infinity War. So, I'm taking my time with that one. So, Infinity War will show up the week after. So, we have the Black Panther came out today. <laughs> We're skipping a week. Because next week is going to be um, Godzilla week, where we Godzilla X Kong and Godzilla minus one. And then the week after that, that following Monday, shall be Infinity War. I am watching Infinity War tomorrow night. I plan on getting glorious for it. But I do not know if that will be one part or two parts. I don't know because, because it looks like it's going to be a half new one. So that might be a two-parter, just because I'm I'm assuming there's going to be a lot, and I'm assuming this movie is going to be long. I haven't I don't I don't know how long it is. Usually I'll try to basically know the the length of it, so it helps give me an understanding of how long of a of a reaction it might be. But this may be two-parter as a heads up. Do not fully know yet because once again I do not watch it till tomorrow. But there will be a, a one week break. That one week break will be Godzilla week. And then we will come back and then it will be Infinity War. Um, and I don't remember what movies after Infinity War. I think I think it's Captain Marvel, if I remember correctly, which is weird. So, yeah, it'll be. So after this video, you may, you'll get um, either an X-Men or a House of the Dragon video. Then we will go into Godzilla week. And then after Godzilla week, we will come back with Infinity War and then go into Captain Marvel and so on and so forth. Now, after we finish phase three of Marvel, we are taking a little break from Marvel and we're gonna get into some DC stuff, Batman, Batman Returns, and then we're gonna go right into some DC EU, I think it was called, just to see what kind of cluster fuckery happened there. Because I have a friend who hates it, so I'm curious to see if I like it. Um, and then you know, we'll start intertwining some things with some MCU. I've been asked about the MCU Disney Plus shows, I do not know. 
the movies will dictate that for me. Um, if I see that there's a movie that is linked to a show, like heavily linked, then yes, I'll probably do that. I'll probably do that show just for continuity purposes. But outside of that, I don't know about all the Disney Plus shows. I haven't heard the greatest stuff about Disney Plus shows. I do want to have my own opinion, but I can have my own opinion and not have to shoot it. <laughs> um, so that'll be fun to see, but we'll, we'll address that as we get back down the road. But so far, I have loved the MCU. Shockingly, of all the movies that, that have come out in the MCU that I've watched, um, I've only thoroughly disliked, uh, what's it called? Thor The Dark World, which saddens me that Thor is the one that has the movie that I just do not like. Uh, oh, Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is, is in that huh, side. But those are the only two. Um, I still like Iron Man 3. But it has a lot of inconsistencies in the ways of the Mandarin. Um, but I'm ready to get to some, some Thanos shenanigans. I just want to see them. See how close they get to the comic. Because... Um, I read that comic. I was like 14, 15. It came out in the, it came out in the nineties. I didn't read it till like the early two thousands. Um, so I'm curious to really see how far they go with that, because all the players in that comic book are in place except for Adam Warlock. So I'm curious if Adam Warlock, when Adam, if Adam Warlock comes into play. I don't know if they're going to remove him. I hope they don't. I hope he's in there because he's really vital to the Soul Stone, or um, I would call it the Soul Gem. But I've kind of been adapted to watching these MCU movies. I started saying stones. I'm disappointed in that. Years of proper programming has been erased. <laughs> but he he has the Soul Gem like literally in his forehead. Um. Yeah, but I'm really, really interested to see what else we have going on. Oh, hold up. Vision has that. I just remembered Age of Ultron. They put the, they put the, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm getting them all tangled up. Vision has the, the mind gem. Yeah, Vision has the mind gem. So, well, Adam Warlock could still be a play. I did see in the end of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Adam Warlock's name was dropped. So that kind of sets up for, for me in my head that, you know, he should be involved in uh, the Infinity War movie. So, but outside of that, I'm excited. This movie was incredible. I, I can't believe how good this movie was. And I find it supremely hilarious just in the current way, in the current state of hip-hop right now that Kendrick Lamar had the in song. <laughs> oh. That, you know. Because they not like us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I haven't liked Drake forever. Wheelchair Jimmy. But I'm not even going to do my normal sign-off just because this movie was so dope. I will end it with Lonnie out. Go, 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 go.